Hi guys and welcome to another Road to Glory Weirdest Showdowns in Spain. And now I know a lot of you are going to rip the piss out of the way I say that, but I don't give a fuck. It warms and tickles the hairs on my back and my throat. Not the normal hairs which you a lot think about, I'm on about pubic hairs. So first things first guys, remember to check out UT Coin Traders, their link is in the description uh, for your cheap reliable coins. So, as you can see, bottom right hand corner, there is a blue card there. There is a really expensive blue card there. In fact, the value of that blue card is 400,000 Ultimate Team Coins. Well, that's how much he was worth on the uh, price of this wager. So, it's a Team of the Year wager. It's PK. And, for some reason, we're leading 1-0. And it is a CDM as well. One of the shittest DMs we have uh, played with in this series and it's Chelsea's Spanish one uh, I can't remember his name Romu I think it is now with this game and with previous wagers we've been doing a lot of expensive shit so uh, we are quite used to these high pressure wagers 2-0 lead given as well so that was basically me sealing the game thinking that anyway but no my arch nemesis Sergio, he's only my arch nemesis because I can't say his fucking name. But then again, he does cause us a lot of trouble in the 62nd minute. I just fail and he equalises with Kebe. I have no idea what the fuck was going on there, but Kebe does equalise. This was a fucking kick in the teeth. This game wasn't streamed, it was done and organised via Twitter. So a lot of you haven't seen this footage yet, but honestly I was crying. Especially in extra time when he scored that. An off balance shot with David Silva and I was honestly thinking game over. And it was game over, it was really painful. 400k, that is the biggest wager I have lost so far this year. And unfortunately I had to pay up. So we've gone back below the total winnings of uh, 1 million. We've gone to 829k now. But because Sergio Ramos was locked in, we haven't had to downgrade him. So that's one bonus to take from this. Um, so yeah, we had to get back on that horse. So we had to start feeding that horse. We had to start flickering about. And we have to go for and try and get some more upgrades in the team. Because for the bigger wages, we need the big boys. And as you did see in that corner, we were playing for David Silver. Now this guy rolled up with a golden uh, not a gold and silver, a silver and a bronze team. It was his own choice. I did make sure he was okay with this. He was. And uh, Juan Mata there with his positioning, man. His positioning is second to none. A lot like S Wines. And he does give us a 1 0 lead. Uh, so this week, guys, is going to be dominated through the World to Glory Wage Showdowns in Spain. So you will see a few more episodes and games uh, from this series. And then the week after, we're going back to the BPL. That's the way we're going to word, uh, work things now. So 2 0 lead there just before half time. He does manage to get one goal back with uh, Dembele. Not sure what the keeper was doing, but the ball does bounce back to him and makes it 2 1 uh, just before half time. Directly after half time, though. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't directly after. It was <laughs> directly before. We do extend the lead to 3 1. So it must have been a lot of injury time, like Liverpool versus uh, Chelsea the other day. Won't talk much about that, but fucking hell. I just wanted to get my teeth into that game. Looked fucking awesome. And Adrian there extending the lead to 4 1. He honestly is one of the best players on the game, guys. You need to check him out. 79 rated non rare, I think he is. Uh, dead worth the money so that was the game at one Casillas getting in the team and saying bye bye to Thiago but then again we might see Thiago further down the line as he has been put as an in form player now so you never know someone might want to wager and get him back in the team so David Silva locked in the only way we can go up now with the cam is up only way we can go up is up obviously no shit it's not a fire exit um, so yeah we'll be only wagering for in forms there so now we're going to wager for our man Casillas. Try and get him upgraded and lock in that goalkeeper position. But we are coming up against a tough, a tough cookie. Uh, he takes the lead here with Malapa. Oh no, it was Santana. Sorry, Santana rising. A very similar second goal as well. So he gets a 2-0 lead here. Kirchhoff uh, giving, giving him the lead at 2-0. But I honestly thought, yeah, I can still come back in this game. And we do manage to get one goal here. Adrian running through one goal. Not going to catch him, mate. And a near post or to make it 2-1 so the game was on the up looking very safe for myself 
uh, plenty of time to pull back but unfortunately just after half time he does manage to do a bit of skill beat me and the ball bounces directly out to uh, Elia who is not going to miss from three yards out and that is how the game stood it took the 3-1 so I had to pay out 90k for Casillas and uh, I hope he enjoys his coin his price value has dropped now anyway so guys that is the end of the first episode this week I hope you have enjoyed it please leave a like if you have comment in the section below and remember to subscribe to me if you're not subscribed also remember to check out all UT Traders. Ultimate uh, UT Coin Traders. Com. Their link is in the description. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.